talking about love, sharing a wide range of love stories to wrap up our week of love. Our next guest, Tam Bam, is one of the most talked about guests we've ever had on the show. Her story left me and the Tam Bam speechless in 2021. She was 34 years old at the time. Portia Moore returned home from a five-day business trip to find that her husband of five years had emptied her apartment and ghosted her. This was the TikTok video that got more than 6 million views and what she told the Tam Fam two months later. Take a look. This is my apartment as I came back home from Vegas. I had a convention in Vegas. Um, I was gone the 2nd through the 7th. Came home to my apartment completely wiped out. My husband left. He left me my jewelry. And then cleared out the closet here, which I'll come to light. Cleared out the closet here and left for the wedding dress in here. I'll leave that right there for him. You finally get into the apartment. Did you think, <laughs> oh, we've been robbed. What happened? I remember screaming, um, oh. like crying, like um, almost like a cat whale. Mm. Like I couldn't believe that the, like after being together since we were 15, this is how you would end things. When you saw the wedding dress still hanging in the closet, that was a gut punch for me. <laughs> I don't know how it felt for you. I don't know if you could hear in my voice. Um, I was just trying not to cry um, on the video. When I, look, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know. He made his statement loud and clear and I heard him this time. So the woman that was sitting with Portia, that was her best friend, Erica, who was right there at her side. A year later, she came back to tell us how she was doing the work to rebuild her life and find happiness, including booking a trip to Greece. Take a look. Therapy was a big part of that, um, coaching myself, just finding the things that were true to me, reconnecting to, you know, my writing, journaling helped me a lot. Are you dating? Because <laughs> Greek men are gorgeous. I've been there. I am dating. <laughs> what? You're dating? I did not know that. <laughs> well, now Portia is back with an update. She's living her best healthy life. Please welcome back to the show a member of our Tam family. We love so much. Portia Moore, come on. People all, I, to this day, you know how many people still, that's why we keep bringing you back, because A, <laughs> I love you, but we keep bringing you back, because everyone's like, how's Portia doing? How's Portia doing? And I'm like, okay, we're gonna have her on. We don't mm -hmm. play that video to relive that pain. We play that video to show people, you at home, what you can overcome, mm -hmm. and the resilience <laughs> that you can overcome. All of that pain set off a journey. Yeah. How do you describe it to people? Um... It was a journey of love, but it was also a, an adventure, right? I'm discovering the things that I lost about myself, the things that I forgot that I love. I've kind of always been into fitness, but when you get in a relationship, sometimes you forget about all that. And I start to kind of rehash like all of that. So it's really been about a journey of falling in love with Portia all over again. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love that. Um, because that, that is what it, you know, listen, there's not a person in here who can raise their hand and say, you haven't had your heart broken. Yeah. Um, and if you haven't had your heart broken, that means you've never dated. <laughs> because it happens. Mm -hmm. And yours was such a, um, an act of betrayal. And you wonder, how do you reset, right? How do you do that? Um, and you've been able to give people even advice mm -hmm. on it. Because I, I see them in your comments asking, yeah. oh, what is... You think about that woman then and her now. Mm -hmm. um, how does how do you process it? Because they say you know you're, God wants you. They, you never get more than you can handle. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that day you thought I can't handle this. Absolutely, yeah. But you could. Mm -hmm. What is it? What what's the message? So I handle everything with humor a lot of times. And when I look back at the video, it's usually like, girl, I was out here losing in these streets. <laughs> oh my gosh. But um, just my faith, um, yeah. your faith, you really do have to dig into something, something deeper and find your purpose for living. Because at the time it was like, how do I breathe without my air? That man was my air. Oh. So it's like, how do I breathe without him? And God was like, let me show you. Let me show you. Yeah. I know, I love that, I got goosebumps. Now, <clears throat> 
Um, some eagle-eyed members of the TAM fam have been looking at your pictures that you've been posting <laughs> in your video workouts. And though we don't see a face, we see a hand, <laughs> then there's a side profile. Who is this man <laughs> in this video, ma'am? Well, that's my papa. I call him Big Papa. Um, <laughs> and um, his name is Dylan. And we've been seeing each other for, for a little while. We went on our first date October 28th. OK. We met at the gym. OK. And I was like, you got to ask me to be your girlfriend, because I'm old school. So if uh, you don't ask me, uh -huh. we won't be. Uh -huh. And on November the 12th, he asked me to be his girlfriend. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! OK, I like it. was Christmas. That was our first date. That was your first date. You're yeah. like, I'm chronicling this, OK? I love that you didn't give up on love. Sometimes when your heart is broken like that, or you go through a divorce or anything, you're just like, I'm good forever. Mm -hmm. even, even with our beautiful guest who's boy sober, she's going to go back to boys, she says, in October. Because you just, sometimes you need to, that break and the reset. Mm -hmm. And it feels good. It what do you love about this guy? <laughs> Or like about him, I should say. So my prayer was, uh, God, please send me somebody who um, is good for my nervous system, good for my yeah. nervous system. Yeah. This man talks to me softly. He never raises his voice. Um, he's very patient with me. I'm a runner because of what I've been through. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to head out. And yeah. he's like, no, you're not. Come back. Oh. Like, so, yeah. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it is Love Week here on the Tamron Hall Show. And your boyfriend, Dylan, wanted to send you a virtual Valentine's Day card. Take a look. <laughs> to my partner, my love, and my friend, I love that you're my best friend, whether we're talking, laughing, having fun, or just doing nothing together. Anywhere with you is my favorite place to be. I love sharing life with you, the partner I can count on, the friend by my side, and the one who means the world to me. I love being in love with you, and I always will. Happy Valentine's Day. I think Dylan loves you more than me, and I thought I loved you more than anybody. And Erica, your best friend. Um, Jeez, I have so many things rushing through my head. But I think at its core is that you deserve love. And you deserve somebody who thought of you and thinks of you in this way. Thank you. Keep updating us. We love you. You got to come back and see us anytime. Give it up for Portia.